Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel and today I have super duper exciting news. I have finally got a job as a full stack developer and I've got myself in the tech world. It's crazy exciting news for me and also I feel proud about myself because I did it on my own. I'm completely self-taught. I don't have a computer science degree and I didn't go to any boot camp. And today in this video, I want to share the whole story. First of all, why did I even start coding? And also how did I officially land a job? So if you guys are interested, let's get started. So the position the position that I was offered is a full stack developer and the language that I've studied is JavaScript, uh, Long Visits Framework, React and Next.js and it took me 10 months. So I did buy a couple of courses on Udemy and followed a complete uh, structured course but also I did use all the available resources online to practice more and uh, learn uh, coding. But I will be honest though, during this 10 months uh, I did take a couple of breaks here and there because I was kind of working at the same time as well, I was teaching English online and it was a remote job. Uh, the best part is that while studying to code, I was working as a remote uh, English teacher and it wouldn't pay a lot of money, but it did cover my pocket expenses. So it was kind of comfortable to have a uh, like non-stressful job while studying to code. And also uh, I did travel a couple of times here and there. I went to Singapore, I went back home to Kyrgyzstan. So uh, it wasn't like full on 10 months study but I will tell you that for the first six months I did uh, study all the time I didn't take breaks at all so when people tell you that you can study coding for six months and get a job I guess it is true in the sense of you can learn how to code in six months like you can start uh, creating applications uh, after learning for six months but after that to be honest it's not that easy to get a job especially nowadays uh, people are hiring uh, like more of middle to senior developers and not many junior positions are available out there. So that is why kind of I was scared to start applying for jobs and I didn't apply immediately because I knew that I also need to work on my soft skills and I need to prepare my resume and everything. And even when I started applying for jobs, it took me a while to get invitations for interviews. Some companies didn't even respond. So I probably applied for, I don't know, 50 different openings in order to get an interview. But but most of the time uh, the responses were good from LinkedIn because most of the companies are legit and they uh, post uh, real jobs and real openings so after a while I've got two invitations from LinkedIn I went for two interviews and it was terrifying as hell like I was so stressed out I wasn't used to going for interviews and uh, being tested for knowledge you know it's like as if you're going for an exam and after two interviews I was like so stressed out that I decided to take a break and then at that time also I had another job offer as an interpreter for language line solutions it's an American company and it's a remote job you can uh, interpret online from home so I was like that sounds convenient I would rather do that instead of going for those terrible scary interviews so I almost gave up there but then after working for one month as an interpreter I realized that this is not something that I want to do for the rest of my life and and it's not a future career that I can follow and grow. So after one month of working for Language Line Solutions, I started applying for jobs again. And every interview kind of helped me to feel more confident. I started understanding what do they usually require. And like it's pretty common in general. Uh, they just want to test you and find out your skills. Uh, you got to have some basic fundamental skills that they require. So uh, every test and every question that they ask, I've saved it and I've practiced for the future interviews and that's how on my sixth interview I kind of knew what I was doing already and uh, the questions that were asked as well I did uh, answer correctly and the test that they've sent me as well I completed it in a couple of days and I've sent them immediately and I kind of already had a feeling that okay like this company would probably hire me you know I had a feeling and I was telling to my husband as well that I might actually get a job because like 
uh, in a overall perspective, I did well. Like if I would be the company, I would hire me, you know? And the test that they sent me to complete at home was a booking website. And the first page had a search bar where you type and you search or filter for different destinations. And also you had a bar for date uh, and also for a passenger's amount. So for example, you will have a drop down model where you can click and add uh, adults, children, infants. So it has to be dynamic and uh, according to that amount of passengers, the next page would render a form for those passengers. So each passenger would have a form of a name, a date of birth, passport number and everything. So after that, the next page would uh, like kind of collect all the data of the passengers and it would send to the third page where it would render all the details of the destination, of the date of the flight and also uh, amount of passengers and details of every passenger. So that kind of website, it seemed pretty easy easy in the beginning but it did have some complicated issues that I had to work on and it took me around three four or even five days and I've sent it immediately as soon as I finished and I didn't hear from them for a while and it probably like in a week they called me back and invited me for the third interview it was like a kind of a meeting with a team leader where they, the team leader asked me more questions about the Next.js framework, about server side rendering, about uh, static props and everything. So I did answer, I did have some parts where I wasn't sure, but I did answer everything. And uh, immediately at that day, the team leader said that I am starting on Monday. So it was pretty insane. Like it was very fast to kind of uh, get it started. But going back a little, I'm to talk about the reason why I decided to go into the tech industry and start coding and if you guys follow me from the beginning you probably know that I used to be a cabin crew before this and most of my 20s I worked as a cabin crew I've traveled the world I met a lot of awesome people I had lots of fun and enjoyed my youth but at some point it had to end and uh, it's not like a career for the rest of your life kind of thing and uh, there were other reasons as well. Uh, my health, uh, the COVID thing happened, so I had to quit. And after that, I had to find a new career. And somehow it just happened that uh, some people asked me to try content creation and become a social media, and I just jumped into it and started working as a social media content creator slash photographer. And as much as I loved photography and social media, it wasn't it. It wasn't something that, again, that I want to do for the rest of my life, you know? I wanted a career that will bring me growth. At that time, suddenly I started noticing a lot of people who are doing so well in tech industry, and um, like my cousins, my relatives, my friends, even my youngest sister, and I knew that they work remotely and they make good money, and also it's like a very good career path, and. Um, uh, like they can travel anytime they want so that's the best life and I kind of thought that like that's the lifestyle that I want so why don't I try that and at the same time I knew that my personality is overly enthusiastic and I'm ready to jump and uh, start anything new so <laughs> I was like Probably I should like, before I start spending a lot of money on boot camps, I would start on my own and see where it goes because you never know, maybe I will not like it. And that is why I first talked to my friend Dastan who is also in tech industry, he works for Huawei and he told me about other different uh, directions, you can go, I don't know, you can be a UI UX designer, you can be a developer, you can be front end, back end, you can be a tester. So. After talking to him, I realized that I probably want to try uh, being a developer because the idea of creating applications and coding the whole website uh, was exciting and also I'm close to like design and stuff so I thought maybe like the front end would be the best idea. So yeah, that's how I started learning and I bought a bunch of courses on Udemy and I really enjoyed learning on my own. I had my own pace and also like if I have like the right motivation and if I have a interest about something. Uh, I have this personality where I don't need anyone to push me, I will do it on my own. So uh, I would wake up early in the morning and spend the whole day till the sun goes down. So that's how I spent six months for practicing and finding out the answers and researching and it was pretty fun but I will not lie, it's not easy. It's not easy to study on your own and some people would definitely recommend or prefer to choose boot camps 
with mentors and teachers but that is how I decided to go with it and I'm happy to share my results with you guys I hope this video was interesting and if you have anything to share please leave them in the comments and I'm happy to talk to you guys but otherwise that is all for today uh, that is the whole story and thank you for watching I'll see you soon bye